Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you this 2023 Logan Coach Stockman Combo. This is a neat setup that we have on this one. We're going to pop that drawing up on your screen real quick so you can kind of get a layout of how this trailer is laid out. So we've got the trainer tack on it. We've got a separate dressing room entrance. Um, we'll go ahead and show you a little video on that trainer tack right now. Um, that's going to just have your all your stuff that you're going to need, your saddle racks, your um, bridle hooks, your saddle blankets, water tank. I mean, we'll go through it more in depth as we walk around this trailer and then we'll show you over on that other side where that uh, dressing room is at as well. Um, neat setup on this one. It's got four dividers in there. You could easily haul four horses, but if you need to squeeze a fifth in there, you could do so as well. But we'll go ahead and start right up here on the front. So we've got our adjustable coupler. That adjustable coupler moves up and down. We wanna make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. So being able to adjust that up and down can get you riding as level as we can. And then we've got our safety chains, our battery breakaway cable. So what this is actually gonna do, if your trailers come disconnected from the truck for some reason, and this cable needs to be hooked up correctly, um, if something is to happen and the trailer comes disconnected, it'll pull this cable out and that's gonna lock up the brakes on the trailer. So that way the trailer's not just rolling until it hits something to stop it. Those brakes are gonna engage and get that trailer stopped a lot quicker. We've got an electric jack on this one. So it makes life a lot easier than having to crank up and down. I'm telling you, having that electric jack just helps out big time. And then in here is your battery box. Currently one battery, there's space to fit an additional one if you wanted or needed an additional one. And you can get that closed up and you can actually lock that up too if you're wanting to, you know, get it locked up for when you're at shows and stuff. And then over in the middle there, you'll see a battery cutoff switch. So whenever you are not using this trailer, when you're done hauling, you hit that switch to the off position. That's gonna cut all power to that battery and hopefully keep your battery you know, in charged up condition a lot longer. And then over on that left hand side, you got the full size spare tire. So coming over here to the trainer tack, this is uh, one of my favorite tack setups. I got a couple here that I really like, but this is one that really catches my eye just because I've got a lot of tack, frankly. So being able to fit, the, fit all my tack in one space would just come in handy big time. So on both doors, those open up, they've got the bridle hooks with the carpet behind, and then you've got the brush box down below. So having the brush box just keeps stuff off your floor of your trailer, easy access to grab and go. Um, and then you've got two of them, one on each door, so that helps out big time too. And then stepping up into that tack room, you've got two little steps. So be able to get yourself up and in there a lot easier instead of having to find this side rail that's a little small, you know, you can find step and then get up in there a lot easier. So right away on the saddle racks, you'll notice one on each side. So there's gonna be eight tiers in here. These are removable. So if you only wanted three or seven or whatnot, you could easily remove one of these saddle racks. And then in the middle here, you've got your blanket poles. The neat thing about this setup You'll see how this is put together on the top and bottom on that little rail. Very easy to undo those, back those out a little bit, and you can actually move these saddle racks over if you wanted the saddle tiers in the middle and the, bl the blanket bars on the outside. I mean, you could kind of maneuver this to, to make it whatever way works easiest for your application. And then you have some additional bridle hooks on this side. And then right here in the corner, you got a 25 gallon water tank. So being able to bring water with you, especially when you're going on longer road trips, it just comes in handy big time. You never know when you might be on the side of the road. You might want some water for your horses, offer them some, some for yourself, for your dogs. I mean, just having water on board just, just comes in handy when you're on a road trip or you're going up to the mountains or something. And then over on that right hand wall, we've got some additional bridle hooks with the carpet down below. That carpet underneath all these bridle hooks is just gonna help those bridles stay in better condition and then help your trailer stay in better condition too because bridles are gonna do some swishing and swaying while you're driving and so just having that carpet down below is just gonna help that overall ease. 
you've got an LED light up above on the exterior and then you have one on the interior too. So you're able to get those turned on, see a lot easier when it's getting dark out or when it is dark out and be able to maneuver through that tack room easier. So over here on the hip side, we've got another LED light up above those axles. So that way, if you wanna get that turned on, saddle and saddle in the dark, just makes life easier. And then we've got our two air gaps with the plexiglass inserts in them. To get these air gaps off or out, you'd have to back out this back plate right here and just slide them out. So you can pick and choose what you wanna leave in there, what you wanna take out and just choose that airflow for those horses or livestock that you have in there. And then you got a few ties going down the side, plenty of ties. And then down below there, we got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. And I don't know if you noticed this exterior color is a gray color. And then we've got the black wheels on it. Looks really nice together. You know, depending on what color your pickup is, you could have a really sleek ride, you know, hooking this up to that. So Logan Coach Trailers, they're gonna be a galvanized steel frame, aluminum sheeting combo. So I really like the, the fact that you've got the strength and durability, having that galvanized steel, and then you got that lighter weight of having the aluminum in the combo situation. And just the sturdiness of these trailers, especially these stock combos, um, just comes in handy big time. And you'll see right away as we look in here, we're sitting at 7.3 wide, so you do have some extra width in here than just your standard width. And so those bigger bodied horses are gonna be able to fit quite a bit easier in here too. So on the rear here, we've got our 50-50 door openings. So those open up, you can open one at a time if you wanted to. Currently there is no ramp, but we could easily get a ramp installed here in our service department. Our guys do a fantastic job getting anything installed really and making it look like it, it came from the factory that way. You have an LED load light up above. And then as we step in here right away, you'll notice this flooring. So this is Logan Sure Grip flooring. So it's a rubber composite. Any kind of liquid is gonna drain through this floor and out the bottom. So underneath this Sure Grip flooring, you have aluminum planks that are covered in Logan's Vortex coating, which is this black coating that you're seeing on the sidewalls right here. Um, that's just gonna help prevent any kind of urine from sitting on that aluminum and eating away at it faster. So it's gonna keep the longevity of your, your floor, you know, in really good condition. Up there on that right hand side, we've got some lights going down the side. So if you are loading or unloading in the dark, once again, just comes in handy and makes it a lot easier. And then up here, so I'll show you. So we've got our center gate that opens up. And then up there, we have a stud stall as well. So these are a neat setup that we have been doing on these trailers. Um, having this stud stall, you're able to, you know, for one, put a horse in there if you needed to. But for two, you do have the escape door on the other side that we'll see when we get out here. And having that full length stud stall, you are able to use that front stall as a storage stall if you wanted to. Um, that's a big plus for me when you have stud stalls, being able to use that as a storage stall, nothing's gonna be sliding back underneath your horse's feet. Um, it's gonna be contained up in this upper area. So you got pads on both sides of that divider. The center gate currently does not have pads, but we could easily get those installed if that's something you're wanting or needing. And that closes up and then this last one you've got a stall as well so four horses right there and then you could easily pop a fifth one in here if you needed to you've got plenty of space to do so because you're sitting 26 feet on the floor and plenty of space back here so up on that roof right away i will show you i don't know how well you can see it in the video but this trailer is on a hail sale it does have some hail damage up there on the roof, so it's just cosmetic. Um, nice thing about getting a hail damage unit, you're not having to pay the full, full new price for the trailer. It's still gonna come with your full warranties. The title is still gonna be in you know, good standing and everything. So only thing that you're getting really is a good discount on a new trailer. So Logan Coaches, they will come with an eight year structural warranty, two year hitch to bumper. So lots of good warranty on it too. And then over here, we've got our head side of the trailer. 
We've got two more air gaps. So same way on this one, you back off that back plate and you can get that, that plexiglass pushed out of there. You've got an LED light up above the loads or the tie space, some additional tie rings going down. And then right here, you've got your escape door. So this opens up into that first stall I was talking about when we were on the inside there. So lots of space in there. You know, if you did need to use it as an actual escape door, get a horse loaded in there, jump out, you could easily do so. I mean, the versatility of having the escape door just comes in handy big time. And then it does have the plexiglass slat, same way on this one. You just back off this plate and you can take that plexiglass out of there. So over here on this side, we've got our separate dressing room entrance. So you have an additional little brush box on the door so you can get some stuff out of the way off the floor again. You've got a step going up in there. And then right away on that left-hand side, you will notice a uh, boot box. So that boot box opens up here. You've got some more storage space, get some more stuff off the floor from rolling around. I always keep my gallon jugs and stuff in the boot box and just keep them from spilling and stuff too. And then you can use it as a seat, get your boots on, and then also use it as a step to get up into that gooseneck area. So up there in that gooseneck area, you've got another light. So able to, if you do store some stuff up there, you're able to get up there easily, see what you got up there and get your stuff out. And then up here on the ceiling, we've got a little clothes bar. So if you want to hang some show clothes, get them off the floor, keep them from wrinkling. You could easily hang those on there, hang your polar wraps, whatever you want to do. And then over on that right hand side, we do have a shelf. So then I'm going to have them put the drawing back up on the screen here real quick. And we're going to go over some measurements on this trailer. So this trailer is going to be sitting 26 feet on the floor. We've got seven feet tall. We're at seven, three wide. And then you'll notice those stalls are 40 inches wide. So it's a little bit bigger than standard. And so those be able to fit those bigger bodied horses quite a bit easier too. Then on this one, you got the five foot short wall for the front tack room. So plenty of space on here, 21 feet of load space, able to fit those five horses on it. So then uh, on this trailer, so like I said, it's a 2023 Logan Coach stock combo. Um, stock number we've got on it right there is 5N221871. And you'll see right above that hail sale. So we're having a hail sale on this one. We've got a few units sitting out here um, that have the hail sale. So if you're looking for a new trailer, but you don't want to pay full price, this is your opportunity to get into something. If you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot, on our website, if you're looking to build something, you saw something going down the road that you want, I mean, we're here to help you out. You can call or text my cell phone down below. That is 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email to Morgan, and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.